Mark, how's it going? It's your mate Benny Mac, back again in the Scar Motor Garage, my friends. Uh, thanks for joining me, fellas. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, another weekend gone. Managed to get a build finished. Uh, pretty happy with myself. Um, hope you like the little teaser I put up last night. Just having a bit of fun with my iMovie app on the couch last night. Uh, catching up on the community, guys. Um, yeah, a lot of good things going on in the community lately, I see. Um, big shout out to Gill at Red Dragon Model Works, mate. Thanks for the invite to the Styrene Syndicate. Uh, hoping I get a chance. A bit of spare time, mate. I can jump on and catch up with you guys, have a bit of a chat. That'll be good. So, uh, Big shout out to Robert Dawes for putting the Big Boss Gym chat on. I managed to watch a bit of it. I nearly got a chance to jump in at the end, but uh, I slept in a bit Sunday morning, fellas. So, but thanks to all you guys that hung around for another couple of hours and had a chat with me anyway. It was good to catch up. So, but yeah, really enjoying the community lately, guys. A lot of good things going on. A lot of new guys coming in. Um, I'll have to get a shout out video going for a lot of you new guys. But um, yeah, it's just hard to catch up and keep track of everyone now. There's so many of us. So. But uh, it's good to see fellas, the hobby's alive and kicking, so... Anyway guys, today's video is going to be the final of the um, M1025 Armoured Carrier, the 1 in 35th scale academy kit I've been working on. I uh, managed to paint up the little figurine for it in the chat yesterday morning, and uh, motivated me to get it finished the rest of the day, so... Anyway guys, um, I'll quickly set up here on the bench, give you a quick look at the build, uh, a little bit about it, some of the products I use, some of the techniques I use to get the uh, look. So uh, let's do that fellas, we'll set up here on the bench and have a look, eh? So there we go fellas, she's all finished up. I'm um, just using the basic little base that I made up. And I just display for my videos. I'm eventually going to make a bigger diorama guys and have all my military builds in that sort of a sort of base camp situation set up. But uh, yeah, I'll just let that do a quick lap, guys. Have a bit of a talk about the um, weathering I did. Um, I didn't have any specific, I didn't really learn from anyone how to weather a vehicle. Um, one day I was just playing around with the Tamiya Panel Line accent color. And basically, all I did after the last video you saw me guys shoot the camo and the clear, um, obviously, I put some decals on it. Decals, decals, whatever you want to call them. And then basically I just got a bigger brush and got the, to me, a panel line accent colour and just brushed it over the whole kit and I let it dry. And then once it dried I got some mineral turpentine, got a bit of that on the brush as well, and then just started going back over it and it just sort of loosens it and gives it that nice sort of grungy, dirty look. But um, I'll put my usual slideshow up at the end, fellas. I'll get a few close-ups and a bit more detail on it. And I'll just swing over here. Excuse the sticky tripod. Um, most of the products I used on this build, fellas, was from Tamiya. Tamiya, once again, however you want to say it, fellas. Um, did the base coat of the olive green, which... And then the um, car key, which you saw me shoot the um, camo in my last video. And then we've got NATO Brown, which I just used to break up the camo on the little dude a little bit. And the flat flesh, which I obviously used for the, the little dude as well, for his face and his arms. And then a bit of semi-gloss black for his boots. Uh, the metallic grey, which I just used on the instruments on the interior, which you'll see in the photos at the end, fellas. And if I pan around a bit more, we have the Tamiya Weathering Master Kits. Um, it's just like a sand, a light sand, a mud colour. And then I like to use the orange rust on this one just to give little sort of rusty bits here and there. And I basically just go over the whole model with them guys and um, yeah, just blend it in here and there like you can see down in the... Um, Bottom corner here, I've blended it in a bit of the rust and the sand colour. Excuse this tripod, guys. This is terrible. But, um... Yeah, that's about it, my friends, for the, um... M1025 Armoured Carrier, fellas. 
I uh, hope you like it. I had fun building it. And um, on to finish the next build, my friends. So, all right, fellas. Well, thanks for watching as usual. Subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. It's your mate Betty Mac saying, have yourself a good day or night, wherever you're from. I'll catch you later, fellas. Have a good one.